Cognac is the name of a town in southwestern France and the name of the finest brandy. 250 miles from Paris, the majority of the town is built on the left bank of River Chironde. With the floating water comes not only the beautiful surroundings of the town, but also the development of it as the trading port and planting area of the brandy. This is the town of Cognac and Fort Cognac. This wine store near the central square offers the widest range of Cognacs anywhere in the world. There are about 400 Cognacs and 50 Pinocs on sale, pricing from several euros to thousands. A priceless bottle is exclusively placed on the second floor of the store. The Stupi Cognac is the only bottle in the world. What makes this Cognac unique, where only one bottle is produced? With these questions, we came to the Cognac house of Dupi. Mr. Auguste Dupuy started um, with the brand, uh, with the company in 1852. Edmond Dupuy continued in 1895. About 10 years later, uh, Mr. Edmond Dupuy decided to sell his company to two young Norwegian men, Mr. Peter Rusta and uh, my grandfather Thomas. They um, continued the Dupuy brand, but they also uh, founded a new brand, which is Rustal and Bakker Gabrielsen. Bosch Gibhielsen is a brand over 100 years old. The other brand, Dupi, established in 1852, is even older. The house is a medium-sized family company that has been extremely successful on both the Norwegian market and elsewhere. Now, uh, it, the company is managed by my son, Hervé. Uh, who is uh, the fourth generation of the Bakke Gabrielsen family. To find the secret behind that unique bottle, told by the owner, that we should not miss any steps of making a fine cognac, from vineyard to the table. Good morning, we are now in the Grand Champagne district, which is the art of the the Cognac Vineyard. The Cognac Vineyard is around 75,000 hectares and Grand Champagne district is around 13,000 hectares. So the soil here is very chalky compared to the other district and it gives a very a floral uh, taste to the wine and then to the Cognac. Only six crews are allowed to make Cognac. Among them, Cognac from the Grand Champagne is the best. It was deep winter when we came there. The whole vineyard seemed to have fallen asleep, but still an important job was going on. So we have made the harvest in October, uh, September, and now Mr. Boré is starting to, um, to cut the, the vines and to prepare the, vi the vineyard for the next harvest, which will be in September, next September. Is cutting every vine and just keeping one or two. If he lets too many leaves, then the, the vineyard will be too weak and uh, will not produce as much as wine as we would like. Once the grapes, mainly Argani Blanc, are harvested, they will be pressed and then go into the fermentation tanks, which are placed right beside the vineyard to ensure the freshness of the grapes. Next is the distillation to make the white wine into Edwa. The distillation method has not been changed since the birth of Cognac. The special Charenter's copper steers, a repairs that were used then, are still in use today. We first distill wine during 12 hours. We boiled that wine and the vapors are going up in that pot of the distillery. The finest vapors are going there and go through that big tank to join that very big tank full of cold water. 
and then there is a condensation of the liquid. We don't get the cognac yet. We just get a product, we call it brouille. It is that product. It's not very clean. It's around 33 degrees. After those 12 hours, we stop the distillation of the wine and we start the second step of the production is the distillation of the brouille. The second distillation, known as the Bonchoff, the right distillation in French, produces a clear spirit, that is cognac. The success of the distilling cycle, which lasts about 24 hours, lies in the constant supervision it requires and in the extensive experience of the master distillers. We control the strength thanks to the alcometer and thermometer. And we use that book to be sure about the right strength, the best strength for cognac. An Edva only becomes cognac following slow aging in oak casks. His wood has been selected because of its natural properties and its ability to transfer them to spirit. LV brings us to the barrel making factory to see how could Dupi acquire the best of the oak. We make uh, barrels exclusively made of French oak, uh, which is well known for its uh, organoleptic properties. Uh, we keep all the wood for air drying, seasoning for three years and even more. Uh, this helps the uh, weather conditions to uh, improve the quality of, of the wood. We uh, traditionally use open grain wood, which gives a better mixture with the alcohol. Following this long curving period, the boards are shaped into curved steps. The wood is repeatedly moistened and heated to bend over the steps into shape, giving out an unforgettable smile of freshly baked bread. The toasting is a very important part of the process of uh, barrel making. It impacts the, uh, the uh, exchange between the oxygen and the wine, or the oxygen and the, uh, the cognac. And it also creates uh, new uh, flavors or uh, aromas between the wood and the uh, alcohol. Cognac is kept and aged for many years in oak casks. With time, the transfer of natural characteristics of the oak gradually produces rancid aromas and develops the bouquet of cognac. In the cellar, we found many barrels with red seals on top. We will see that on the barrel, you can see the vintage year. This is the year of distillation. And we have to guarantee that the vintage uh, uh, cognac inside the barrel has not been uh, mixed and blended with some others. So in order to, do, to guarantee this, we have to have somebody from the Bureau National du Cognac, the French organization uh, coming from the government, the French government, that is guaranteeing with a seal, with a seal like that, saying that we cannot touch the inside of the barrel. So as uh, much as we want to taste the barrel, we cannot do it without the presence of the, the French government. During its long aging in oak casks, cognac is in permanent contact with air and gradually loses some of its alcohol and some volume. This natural evaporation is poetically referred to as angel's share. It is the equivalent of more than 20 million bottles per year that disappear into the atmosphere. For the rest matured cognac, they will be kept in a dark cellar known as the paradise. So welcome in the paradise with the best cognac Dupuy produce. It's a room where we age the oldest cognac of the company. Only a few people are allowed to come in. Only very, very exclusive people. 
Once the cognac has reached their maturity, the master blender decides to end their aging process and places them into these large containers called demijohns, where they may rest for many decades without air contact. We use those very, very old cognac for a very special event, for a very exclusive product for the best quality of Dupuy cognacs. Like this one, 1890. We have only three big bottles of that cognac. And we have made an exclusive bottle, only one in the world. Here, among these aged bottles, we finally understood that it is not the quantity, but the generation's hard work that make that bottle unique. In addition to look after the casks, Jean Philippe spends most of his time in blending. From a cognac point of view, this job takes precedence over all others. It is him that puts the final touches to the cognac before it ends up in a bottle. My job is to select all the cognac we have in our cellars and decide after tasting which cognac is ready to be blended to produce the VSOP or the XO When the cognac is ready to be blended, the master will mix cognac from different areas and different vintages to make the final bottle. The work of the master blender requires extensive experience. It allows each cognac house to control the quality of its spirit. For Dupuy VSOP, the master will use 5 to 20 years old cognac and 10 to 30 years old for exile. When the blend is finished, I control if the quality is always the same years after years. It's very important to offer always the same quality level to the consumers. Since 1852, the managers and staff have been keeping in mind that cognac production is an art and have been dedicated to expanding foreign sales. Today, people could find a dupe cognac in the European countries, in Japan, Russia, United States, Central and South America. I would like to invite you now to taste our Dupuis EXO Tentation. This product is beautiful as it is very old cognac, 20, more than 20 years old, and the packaging is very luxurious, and I would like now that you taste the cognac. So when we taste cognac, first we have to taste with the nose, to be sure that the aroma comes from the glass, we have to warm with the end the, the cognac. So we warm the cognac and now we have a first nose and we have to put the nose very close to the, to the cognac to, to feel all the aromas. We can smell the floral and fruity tones with some hints of um, dry fruits, some candied fruits. Very smooth in the nose and and long, long in the nose. You can, when, you, when a cognac is very long in the mouth, you can already feel when you, when you taste only with the nose. Then, when you have smelled the cognac so, several times, you can taste a small sip. And keep the cognac inside your mouth to, to be sure that you got all the taste. So for this very old cognac, you can taste a lot of wood taste uh, coming from the oak barrel 
and you can also feel all the fruitiness that you have um, felt in the, in the nose. When you have taken the first sip, then you go for the second sip. And then your mouth is ready to, to enjoy the tasting of the cognac, which is, which is very nice. And some cognac can be drunk fast, but for the XO and for the Dupuy XO, I would recommend, as the owner of the company, to uh, taste it slowly. Usually the XO is 6 years old, but Dupuy XO is 20 years old. It is blended with 20 different cognacs from different vintages. This wine has received several gold medals in wine tasting competitions in London and in Montego. So this is the VSOP Tentation from Dupuy and the EXO Tentation from Dupuy is the two products that we have we are launching now in China. The Dupuy company is uh, number eight in the world if you consider the volume. We produce 1.3 million bottles of cognac per year especially in Europe, but also in the United States. And we have big ambition now in China, as we know that the Chinese people, they love cognac.